we're going to start off at our server manager. So we're going to install the at Windows Hyper-V, right? So we need to go to Add Roles and Features. Click Next. And I need to select the role-based feature or installation. Next. Look at my computer, my IP address or whatever. Next. Then I'm going to scroll down until I see Hyper-V. I'm going to select Hyper-V there. Click Add Feature. I'm then going to select Next. I'll leave everything as default like next next again and i'm going to choose I'm not going to choose an ip or a network adapter right now uh, then select next and then select next again next one more time and finally install it's now asking for a reboot so i'm going to close this select the icon here and and reboot once our computer starts up we start uh, Windows Administrative Tools, then Hyper-V Manager. From here, we're able to add, move virtual machines, Hyper-V, similar to what you see in Windows, rather similar what you see in Windows, VMware, a little different though, Windows. So, uh, so we have our Hyper-V switch settings, so import virtual machine, do your Hyper-V you know, switch manager, so we can add a virtual virtual switch here. We can do virtual switch manager, and then click external, create virtual switch, internal, whatever we want to do. Then we select Hyper-V manager, so our VMs, we can right click new VM if we want to, anything like that. Over here, we can click on our Hyper-V settings and also click on our virtual switch. So virtual switch to internal switch. Basically, we have an external, internal, or private switch network for setting up like a lab, internal lab. 